Ah, oh, the holidays are finally upon us, which means... It's the season for cookies. Welcome to the Holiday Cookie Showdown. With us, your favorite BuzzFeed hosts, Hannah and Joyce. Four amateur bakers will compete in unique cookie challenges in order to crown the ultimate holiday baker. Let the competition begin. Hi everyone, it's Joyce. And Hannah. And welcome back to our search for the best holiday cookie baker. Today we'll challenge our three remaining contestants to create their best holiday decorated cookie. This baking competition is sponsored by Shipped, the delivery service making the holidays easier for all home chefs. Now let's welcome back our bakers. Yay! Yay! So happy to see you. I made it to the next round, so I'm really excited. Hi, bakers, and welcome back to the Holiday Cookie Showdown. Today, you will be baking a sugar cookie to look like an ugly holiday sweater. I love ugly holiday sweaters. I wear them all the time. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this challenge. And again, you'll be judged on taste, presentation, and holiday essence. Caroline, since you won the last challenge, you'll have a slight advantage of using this sweater cookie cutter to cut your cookies. The other contestants will unfortunately have to cut their cookies by hand. That's not going to be easy. This is not an easy shape to cut by hand. I feel really happy that I get this advantage because I'm not great with um, cutting like lines well <laughs> with a knife, um, but also kind of a little restricted because I won't really get to make my own little designs. And I feel like we should warn you, I'm really intense about my holiday sweaters. She I is. own about a thousand, and we're really gonna be scrutinizing these sweaters today. You know, it's all about the look, the flavor, and a really ugly sweater. Again, you have one hour to complete your cookies, starting now. I'm feeling a little flustered because we have a lot more to do with the same amount of time. So I have to mix the cookie dough, freeze it, bake it, decorate it within an hour. You guys excited? I feel so bad for you guys. Have you guys cut shapes with by hand before? I'm pretty good with a knife. <laughs> I think maybe you should help us out since we helped you out. Try my best. <laughs> I'm really excited because I love ugly holiday sweaters. I wear them all the time, and I love decorating them with frosting, so I'm really excited to dive in and make this cookie come to life. Oh God. Oh, definitely did the wrong one. Whatever, they're gonna be super almondy. Did I put sugar in this? But, <laughs> but um, I think this is ready for the, the fridge. It says... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you guys ever made royal icing before? Yeah. I have not, so we'll see how this goes. Well, I can teach you a little trick to make sure it's uh, nice and tight when you pipe it. What's nice the and, trick? Nice and clumpy. <laughs> oh my god. Sabotage Depends if I get that cutter. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, How's everybody okay. doing? It's looking right. good. As Joyce and Hannah enter, I'm Excited because I think that they're gonna come up to each of us and kind of check in on what we're doing, and then I can kind of pick their brains a little bit of what they're expecting. Good, yeah, really yeah fast. Tons of powdered sugar. <laughs> Did you guys think you were gonna get off that easy? If you look behind you at this mantle, there are three jars of candy. Plot twist: you got to use one on your cookie decoration, <sighs> and make sure you don't overpower the cookie because these are pretty intense and you gotta get pretty creative to incorporate these candies. And, and you guys have 30 minutes left, so good luck. Bye. <laughs> okay, now I have to decorate with candies. Right, I got licorice bites. I got sour strips. Chewy fruit candies. I can't believe that I was making ugly sweater cookies and now I have to use some candies and I can't wait to see how you guys use them. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of excited about yeah. it, it's kind of like, Decorating gingerbread houses or something with candies. I'm thinking about doing a vaquero hat or a cowboy hat as a Christmas accessory to my little crop top sweaters. I don't really have a lot of sweaters, but I'm gonna make some like ugly crop top sweaters. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> that says winter. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the little crop tops. Oh. <laughs> They're so sweet, oh my god. I have to make Joyce a sweater. I love her sweater so much. It kind of gives me Grinchy vibes and it's super glam and cool. Yeah. So 
so I'm kind of freaking out because the time is really cutting short and um, I have some plans in my head, but they they take a while to create. Put four more in the oven and... I don't know what I'm doing with Wish this. for good luck. Okay. Wow, the glitter um, is so cute. My icing is so runny. I saw there's a powdered sugar bag, and I don't think anyone else noticed, but there's a vanilla buttercream recipe on the bag. So this is my advantage. I don't think either of them noticed. They're trying to do some royal frosting things because we have meringue powder, but it's very temperamental, and if the cookie's warm, it's just gonna turn it into a glaze. I have these licorice bites that are gonna be perfect as the buttons for the sweater. I'm not gonna use the black ones because I just don't know if anyone actually likes black licorice. So I'm hoping they don't ding me for not using those because I'm trying to save them. You're welcome, Joyce and Hannah. I don't want you to have a gross cookie. Oh my God. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh my god, so one of my cookies had their arm fall off. So to remedy the issue, I'm just breaking off the other sleeve um, and making it a sleeveless sweater. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> to taste test. How are you feeling about the experience? How did uh, making these sweater cookies work out for you? That was intense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the time crunch was a lot. Are we ready to try? Yeah. Okay. All right, Eliana. Eliana. So I was very inspired and I made Joyce's sweater. So this is a deconstructed cookie. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Well, golly gee. <laughs> These are sugar cookies, and I also made a vanilla buttercream frosting. You mm. were able to get a lot of texture, so it looks like knit. Okay. Should we taste? Yeah, let's taste. Let's taste. This is mighty convenient, too. It is. Cheers. <laughs> wow. It's baked really well. Mm-hmm. It's not overdone, it's not burned. Yeah. It's like just barely golden on the bottom. I love the hint of vanilla. Mm -hmm. And I really like how um, she incorporated the candy into the buttons. I think you played it a little safe just using the red ones, but I get why you wouldn't use the black ones, but I think the black would have been a bigger challenge to incorporate. Mm. I felt a little risky. Yeah. Black licorice, oh, I wasn't nice. sure. So it's disgusting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, one, two, three. Yay! I'm just excited that they could tell I was really intentional to make it special for them. Benji, come on down. Let's go. I'm a little bit worried because my candy is not as prevalent as I would like it to be. Ooh la la. This is giving me a very island holiday. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like a little Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, I would let's, say. Let's start by tasting. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It almost has a little lemon vibes in yeah, this. Is there lemon I in this? purposely added a little bit more zest mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I just wanted to switch it up a bit. Mm -hmm. I love the cowboy hats. I love the block of wood. It makes me feel like I'm in a log cabin. One, two, two three. three. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> I think I just wanted a little bit more icing. Yeah, I'm an icing it did melt. Girl. It was a hot cookie, so yeah. it turned into a glaze. Okay, Caroline, let's see your cookies. Bring it on down. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So today I'm serving you the ugliest <laughs> sweaters that I could possibly come up with. Cheers. Cheers. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Excellent. I'm getting a little more salt. Mm -hmm. I love salt. Yeah. This is definitely giving me the kind of shirts that I would wear to a party. I'm missing a, like a layer of frosting or glaze underneath the decoration. I feel like that helps the decoration pop, mm -hmm. even if it was just like a little clear glaze underneath it. Mm -hmm. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Okay. <laughs> 
the person with the most points today was Eliana. Congratulations. Thank you. Knocked out of the park, beautiful cookie. The next part's really tough. It was a one point difference mm -hmm. for who's going home today. Um, unfortunately, Caroline, you are eliminated. And I think that, you know, as you're making more cookies for the holidays, know that you are still one of the best bakers. I you're an excellent know. baker. Yes. We've yeah. really enjoyed your cookies. Congrats, Benji. Bring it, island boy. <laughs> mm, ooh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to our second episode of the Holiday Cookie Showdown. And don't miss our next episode to see who wins the finale. See, see you next time. time. Bye. Bye.